A man says his neighborhood is terrorized by students skipping class. He says one even threatened to kill him. The director of Metro Schools recently admitted nearly a third of students were chronically absent last school year. Here's News 2's Miranda Whittington. Every single one of those cars down on the right our students. Johnny Thompson is tired. And down this other street, there's about 10 cars usually down the other street that are students. Of students who have slowly taken over his neighborhood. At first it was just a few cars parking in the neighborhood and of course word gets out. Now there's 20 or 30 cars per day. Thompson's neighborhood sits right behind Antioch High School, allowing students to avoid getting locked into the school parking lot. And since the school year has started, he says students constantly leave school to come to his neighborhood. Usually there's anywhere from five to ten in a gathering. Uh, then you'll see one or two, you know, walking to their cars at around noon, uh, getting ready to go home, uh, skipping school. They hide in there. Thompson says they vandalize and even set fire to the neighborhood playground. One teenager, when I was trying to get a picture, said he was going to kill me. And he says he and other neighbors have constantly reached out to police and Antioch High School to no avail. The school said that they were uh, very interested in this, that they wanted to take care of it. But they also said if they're not on their property, there's nothing they can do. At this point, the whole situation is something Thompson says infuriates him as a homeowner. This is supposed to be your safe place. You're not supposed to feel uh, afraid of your own neighborhood. So he hopes someone will step up and fix this situation before things get worse. If Antioch High School would do their part, you know, maybe we hire some security for a few days, it would stop. In Antioch, Miranda Whittington, News 2. Now, a spokesperson for Metro Schools told us the principal has taken multiple steps to address the situation, but they say staff does not have authority outside of school grounds. You can find the full response at WKRN.com.